What is clay? You have probably worked with clay before. You might have used Play-Doh, modeling clay, or even made your own dough out of flour and salt called salt dough clay. Anything you can squish, model, and create something with is called clay. We are going to use something called kiln-fired clay. This is not as glamorous as the other kinds of clay, but what we can make with it is pretty magical. They use water and dirt to make this kiln-fired clay. People have been using clay to make pottery since the beginning of time. It has been around for over 20,000 years. People have been using clay ever since they discovered that they could pull stuff from the earth, mold and sculpt it, allow it to dry, and then use it. They use it to make all sorts of things other than art, like bowls and cups. We call this pottery. But where does clay come from? In the valleys where many people lived, rain would wash rocks and minerals down the mountain, and it would collect more and more as it rolled down. Eventually, it would all collect at the bottom of the mountain. People would collect that mud and lay it out to dry. They do that because they want to take out the sticks and the rocks that would collect up from the mountain. You don't want those in your clay. They lay it out so that it dries into a powder, and then they add water and squish it all back together. The clay we use now is made in a similar way, but in a factory. Clay can come in any color from nature. When building with clay, follow the four S's. First is to use slip. Slip is liquid clay. It is just made with clay and water. Then you need to score your clay pieces. You are going to score it where two wet pieces of clay are going to be joined together. This is going to lock them in place. After scoring, you will squish your pieces together. You can either press them or twist them firmly to attach two pieces of clay together. Finally, smooth your clay where the two pieces are joining. This will finish the seal. There are many ways to build with clay. You could make a pinch pot, which is a bowl made by pinching a sphere of clay. You could use a slab to make your piece. A slab is a flat pancake of clay made with your hands or using a rolling pin. You can even use coils to build something. A coil is a long, thin rope of clay made by rolling with your hands. Try your best to make it an even thickness. After you have built your piece, it is time to let it dry before we can do the next step. This process is called evaporation, just like in science. The water molecules will evaporate out of the clay. This is called greenware. Greenware is the word for unfired clay that is bone dry. At this point, your piece is at its most fragile. Be very careful with it. 
Once your piece is completely dry, I will put it into a kiln. This is an oven made specifically for clay. The kiln's highest temperature is 2,000 degrees. If I were to bake a cake in here, we wouldn't be able to eat it because it would be burnt up into ashes. Once your clay has been fired, it is now called ceramic. Another word for it is bisque. It will turn a white color and you can now keep it forever. Once you have made your piece and it has been fired in the kiln, you can paint or glaze it. Just treat it as a regular piece of paper. You can use crayons, paint, markers, or oil pastels. But traditional artists use something called glaze. It's a type of paint made of tiny pieces of glass, only to be used on the clay. It has to be fired for a second time in the kiln. And after that second firing, the pieces of the glass melt and it comes out a shiny glass. I hope you enjoyed exploring clay. The best thing about clay is you can make anything you want to. If you don't like what you're making, just squish it down and try again.